Hey everybody, this is Gabe here. Just wanted to have a, a, a quick video uh, to tell you a story. It's a story of a client of mine. A client of mine that uh, is a motivational speaker. She's really successful. She's doing extremely well. But as a result of this coronavirus COVID stuff, the next three months of her motivational speaking gigs have been canceled. So the title of this video is how to make sure you're okay if you don't have a paycheck for the next three months. And so this motivational speaker called me and said, okay, what's the game plan? What do we need to do? And so what I said is, all right, well, let's pull together basically five things. We've got five steps that we're going to go through. Step number one is I want you to pull all your expenses together. What's it take to live every single month? Number two, I want to know how much savings you currently have in place. And where are we at liquid-wise? Number three, I want to know what your assets are. Is there anything that we could sell if we had to? Number four, I want to know what your pivot is. All right. And number five, we're going to execute. So we went through that process. We started with expenses and I said, okay, help me understand what your living expenses are. Well, she said, you know, about $20,000 a month it takes for me to live. Now keep in mind, she makes a lot of money. All right. She does extremely well. So $20,000 a month is not out of the realm for her. But I did find out that 50% of that is $10,000 every single month that goes to charitable causes, which is absolutely just awesome. I mean, that's pretty darn cool. All right. So I said, I need to ask you this. I'm not going to try to offend you. I just want to know. How set are we on having that $10,000 a month go to charity? She says, $10,000 a month is staying in. I'm, if, 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 if I have to use all of my savings to make sure that I can still contribute to charity, I'm going to do it. I said, okay, that works for me. So $20,000 is our monthly bogey that we need to make sure so she can maintain the standard of living that she currently has in place. What else can we cut? So we started going through her budget to figure out could we cut a cable bill? Could we cut a Netflix bill? Could we cut something else? Could we pay something off? Started to take a look and see where we currently were with what we could start to cut. All right? Didn't really find anything too crazy. They've actually been living really well, as you can tell, by $10,000 a month going to charity every single month. It's fantastic. So I said, okay, help me understand your savings situation. That was step number two. Savings. Well, currently there's about $270,000 in savings right now. Okay. So we got enough to get you through one year plus a few extra months. Yep. Okay. All right. So I know that we're going to be okay. So my question is, her name is Elaine. Elaine, do you think you're going to have an income in place in the next 12 months? Yes, I know I'm going to have an income. Things are going to start to come back. Plus, I'm already starting to pivot. I'm figuring out how I can start to do other things and generate revenues from my business. So, okay, great. So we know you're good for a year. Let's just say for fun and games, that year goes by. All of your savings is now gone. What is next? She says, well, I have two lots. All right. Here a few years ago, we bought another lot to build a house on. We just haven't, just haven't done it yet. We just haven't pulled the trigger yet. We decided to fix up our house instead. We also have another lot that we bought, which is by our house, so that no one else could build right next to us. I said, could you sell those? Yeah, definitely. We overpaid for them, so we know we could sell them. We could drop the price a little bit and allow us the opportunity to uh, raise some cash very quickly if we had to. Okay, all right. So that's going to be our, our emergency, emergency place that we will go. Yep, okay, good. All right, so we move on to the next thing. I said the pivot. Help me understand the pivot. What are you working on already? Well, I'm already working on a way to start to do some virtual conferences, and I'm starting to put together ideas so that I can even go back to those places that I was supposed to give speeches to and ask them if we could do a Zoom, um, a, a virtual meeting to still keep things going versus live. And so she was already starting to work on that to get a game plan with where she was going. All right. So Elaine knows where she's currently at. She knows she's got a year's worth of income. She's already working on uh, pivoting to get moving forward. So she's in a great place. So we went through basically five steps. The first thing we did is we got an understanding of what her expenses were, how much it cost to live. The second thing we did is we started to figure out what her savings was. We know what that is. She's got well over a year. The third thing we did is we talked about assets. Could we sell something if we have to? Yes. The fourth thing is can she pivot? She's already working on the pivot and already getting things lined up in place to start to generate some revenues as well. Fifth. The fifth step is to execute, and that is execute by 
making sure that her expenses don't get more than that $20,000. And if something comes up that she forgot to tell me about, she can maybe start to cut some of those expenses out of the way. Also, we know that we're going to hold off on selling any of those assets, but we know we can if we're there. Now she has the ability to execute on the pivot with her business, and she can just go hard charging into making sure that she starts to generate revenue for her business as we move forward. Hopefully this information helps, gives you a little bit of an understanding what some people probably just like yourself are doing and how we're going through the process to make sure that we're okay in this whole process of what's going on. Hopefully this helps. Hopefully you're safe. Hopefully you're healthy. Uh, what I will say is this. If you like this information, please check out my uh, podcast, Solopreneur Money Podcast, where I share tips and tricks just like this and stories on how you can master your finances and allow yourself the freedom to create to create an amazing life. Hit subscribe to this channel if you're on, and or you can even reach out to me at my website, Gabe at GabeNelsonFinancial.com. Thanks. Have a great day. Be safe.